Rio Model B run about 1905-08. At the end of 1903 Ransom Eli Olds of Oldsmobile fame left the firm he had led with distinction, but it was not many months before he was back into automobile manufacture. Not surprisingly, his original firm objected to the use of the Olds name on his new vehicles, but they could not prevent him from using his initials and so the Rio make was born, remaining in production until 1936. The first Rio cars were shown at the Madison Square Gardens Motor Show in the third week of January 1905 and immediately found an enthusiastic buying public. The initial model was a 16-horsepower two-cylinder car with horizontally opposed underfloor engine and planetary transmission that followed the Olds tradition, but the Rio was not a slavish copy. Gone was the Oldsmobile longitudinal springing and the tiller steering was replaced by wheel. Also the vehicle had what at that time was called a French front under which European manufacturers placed the motor, but in the case of the Rio the hood covered only the gas tank and battery with the radiator to the fore. This 16 horsepower was soon joined by a single cylinder version that differed from the larger car only in engine size and price. While the twin retailed at $1,250, the single was sold for just over half that figure at $650 the same price as the curved Dash Oldsmobile and $100 less than that makes touring runabout which was broadly similar to the small Rio. During 1905 an adventurous cross-continent trip and success on the Glidant tour brought the new company valuable publicity. Nevertheless, it took time for Rio to get into full production, and the 864 cars made between the beginning of March 1905 to the end of August shows that the planned output of 3,000 cars per annum lay in the future. The situation improved for 1906 when 2,458 cars were sold, 